What's up guys this is Tectanic here and today we are gonna be talking about the best ROM available for Lenovo K6 Power as you can see here let me show you this is the Lenovo K6 Power as you can see here and the ROM is AOSIP I have done a review already about it so go check there in the description box below and this is an amazing ROM guys I have been using this for months and now I am in a position to give a full review about this okay so starting was like a first impression video and all of my ROM videos were first impression. Now I'll be giving a full review about every single ROM and leave AEX because that is a shit ROM. Please do not install if you are compromising on performance. So by telling about this ROM let's go to the settings and this is where this ROM shines Ausnet and this is an amazing ROM and as you can see here. We have the battery bar, there are so many customizations like you can have network traffic here, you can have icons, custom icons, clock and carrier label etc. And you even have the quick settings option where you will have header options and tiles. You can also set the tiles animation interpolator. That means it's how the whenever you toggle the uh, settings or like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth how the uh, tile will react to that QS style icon so that was thing and you have weather QS style too now coming to the navigation I have the navigation bar now and as you can see let me show you we have the button touch animation and you have toggle button editor and many things and one more thing you have is that you have the pulse feature okay so let me show you here this is the pulse feature it will play the music if you uh, if you are playing some music from any app any trusted app which this rom supports this will play a wave like uh, transformation like a sound bass anything on your lap bar so let me show you once so you will get a clear idea okay so which one i can use so as you can see here as you can see here the voice is coming here the sound is not coming sorry for that but this is the overall thing if you can listen as you have seen the pulse one works perfectly only with some of these recorders or something so that's why and now coming to the performance guys now performance is the best the best i'm telling you literally is the best on the gaming side and on the ui side the app opening time is average i can say like lineage was as faster because of android 8.1 i think but in terms of gaming and performance this is the best rom you can ever get so let me show you one benchmark and okay so what is this i'll give you the gl tools link in the description and how to use it i'll give you a tutorial if you ask in the comment section below so no i want to skip this part um yeah we can't skip this part so let me pause it and we'll get here as soon as this is over Hmm. as you can see here we got here again and let me tell you about the game where is it let us get to a racing game real racing 3 and we'll enable custom settings for this app and we will use an fps counter on screen and the position will be top left and now we'll clear everything and let's start it so we are in back on the home screen of this game and as you can see we have the 32 fps going here and this is legit guys i trust on this thing and let's get to let's get to a race soon okay we can't select this car oh sorry 
And let's get to the hunter one. So now we'll load this and we will see how this thing performs. And this is because of recorder then that means you have to add more FPS. Like you can see we have about 20 to 24 FPS. But trust me guys it will reach about 50 to 50 FPS if the recorder is not there. I bet you. And let us change angle. So this will be very short, I will be playing like for like 10 to 20 seconds to give you a rough idea. Oh no. And as you can see performance is quite good because of 24 FPS. And this recorder I am using is Geo Recorder, it's a very heavy app for I think recording. So that's why I always add FPS. Like I bet it will reach about to 50. I will, you might be thinking that I am crazy but it's the reality guys. Right? Okay. So I think we are done here. Okay so this race is a pretty short one. So let us complete it. Okay. So we are done. Even the you can see about this sensor it's working very very well. And what is this? Let us close this one. So as you have been given a rough idea about how the performance is here and the gaming performance is excellent for this Snapdragon 430 version and you can't compare it with anything even the Lineage OS at least in the gaming section yeah in UI Lineage OS is a pretty tough competition so and the temperature is also quite good here as you can see we are 37 and I have been using this for quite a while and battery let me show you about the battery this is the after one month we review so people might be thinking that it may have slowed down but nothing has happened as you can see here we have 86 percent approximate nine hours left and let us see about screens we have one hour always done so even after one hour we have only 14 percent loss so that's a very 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 good thing so and the customizations you know again i will let you explore and if you i get any good competitive combinations about this one so i'll be telling you in the videos so this was the overall thing and this is the best rom guys if i if you ask me to what to recommend for this uh, for better performance for better battery life and customization i will always go with aos ip for now at least for now because we don't have any new rom right so if we get any new ROM, I'll be telling you guys as soon as possible. So this was the total video. If you like the video guys, please hit that like button and the subscribe button with the bell icon. So please stay tuned and bye bye.